Hey, we're at Black Moon Games in Lebanon, New Hampshire, and we're gonna learn how to play 40K 8th Edition. So go ahead and use your tape measure to set up your army within 12 inches of the back of the table. If you get into your, your book here, okay, uh, towards the back it's going to have all the stats for your guys. Okay. All right. So these these are the the books that are that come in the starter. They come in the starter. Yep. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> so if you flip past the uh, yeah, those are going to be the stats for yourself. So your Lord of Contagion. This is your this is your big boss guy here. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, the plague caster is this. This is a, he's a sorcerer. So okay. during the psychic phase, he can cast spells. Uh, this, on the next page over, this is your noxious blight bringer, the guy with the big bell. All right. Plague marines is this unit of seven dudes here. Okay. Uh, and then flip over one more. You have your blight drone, which is this big flying thing here. And then your pox walkers are the little zombie guys. All right. Little tiny. So this is everything that comes in. The, the starter box for one you, for one side, and that's everything that comes on the other side. Yep, right? everything on everything this table except is, the terrain is from that starter. You get the wow. full rule book, you get both armies, uh, how to play each army, the the core rules, the pamphlet, dice. all the dice, and this thing too. Wow, that's that's a lot of game. It's a solid deal for you know the price tag seems a lot, but when you think that book is sixty by itself, right, and a hundred dollars for these minis. Anybody who plays miniature games, this is this is a sweet deal. Absolutely. You have to put them together, of course. But so normally in a normal game, uh, you would take turns setting up a unit, setting up a unit back and forth. You do a roll off to put objectives down. Okay. I think for this demo, we're just going to keep it simple. Sure. Just set up our armies within 12 inches, and then we'll still play correctly. Okay. But the initial setup thing in a full game, it's a little more complicated. But I'm just going to skip through that. Yeah, we just want to get the basics. Just get right into battle. See what, see what happens. Yeah. So yeah, just, just go ahead and take some time to set your guys up. Now, your units, so this is a unit, this is a unit, that's a unit. Okay. They have to be set up within a uh, maximum two inches apart from another member of their unit. Okay. So you can spread them out a little bit, but you want to keep them kind of close together. All right. And then these, these four guys are independent, so they can kind of go wherever they want. So Doug, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of the stats. It, it might be a lot of information, okay? But um, I'll try to make it simple. So you see the stat line at the top of uh, each entry, right? So your move value—that's the number of inches you move during the movement phase. Okay. Pretty simple. If you want to advance during the movement phase, that is an option. Advancing, you take a d6 and add it to that move characteristic. But doing so might affect your ability to shoot your weapons in the shooting phase. Okay. And if you advance, you cannot charge during the melee phase at the end of the turn. Um, weapon skill, that's simple. Two plus, three plus. When you go to hit someone in, in melee combat, you're just rolling that, trying to get that number better. better yeah. BS is your ballistic skill. Same thing, when you're shooting, you want that number. Okay. <clears throat> uh, strength is used to calculate melee attacks. Basically, you're comparing the strength to the T, which is toughness, in order to fight in melee. And I think we'll go more into depth once we get it in sure. melee with okay. each other. Wounds, that's the number of wounds each model has. Okay. If that, if that number goes to zero, the model dies. Pretty simple. Attacks, that's the number of attacks they get in melee. So if, say you have five. When you go to do your melee attacks, you're going to roll five dice to determine that. Sure. Uh, leadership comes in at the end of the turn when you're trying to figure out if your guys are going to run off the board because they've been shot up too much. Otherwise, it doesn't really have an effect during the game. And then a save. When you take a wound, you're trying to save. Your armor is trying to prevent that from, from going through. Okay. So when you take a hit, when you take a wound, you'll roll a saving throw in order to, to beat that. And some attacks have an AP value, which could modify that saving throw and make it worse. Okay. And you'll see they have war gear. That's... You know, not really relevant for, for our purposes here because it's all on your guys. Um, they have special abilities, which you might want to just kind of read over real quick. Uh, one thing to note is that most of your army, when they take an unsaved wound, they're so they're so gross and like, 
you know, but their, their skin is all like rotted, but it's also semi impervious. So they have an, uh, an extra save they get. If they fail an armor save, they can roll on a five or six, they don't die. Okay. Um, and then there's, there's some special abilities under the ability sector that might come up during play. So you want to keep that in mind. Now, when you're looking at your weapons, <clears throat> so anything that says ranged, that's during the shooting phase, you can shoot within that, the, the, those many inches, right? Yep. So his gauntlet has a 12 inch range. If, you, if something is 13 inches away, can't shoot it. The type will, will tell you how many of that uh, sh shot you get. So with a pistol, you'll get, he'll get to shoot that three times okay. with, one, with one of his shooting attacks. Like I said, strength compares to toughness. The strength versus toughness calculation is pretty simple. If the numbers are even, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're wounding on a four plus. If your strength's higher than the opponent's toughness, you're on a three plus. If it's double their toughness, you get a two. Okay. If it's under their toughness, you get a five. If it's half their toughness, you get a, uh, a six. Okay. Pretty easy. Most of the time it's gonna be a four or a three. Uh, AP modifies their armor save. So in melee, he's got a minus three. Okay. So if your save is three plus, and he hits you with this, you have to roll a six to save instead of a three. And that's the number of damage that goes through. That's the number of wounds you lose if you fail the save. Okay. Okay. Pretty uh, pretty straightforward. I'm trying I'm trying not to overwhelm too much. Yeah. The the sequence of the turn is uh, and it's 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 I take my entire turn, then you take your entire turn. It goes okay. back and forth. It's not right. one 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 like some some right, some, some games like Infinity you sure. alternate yep. uh, activations. So the first thing we do is we do movement phase. That's where we move our guys. Okay. Pretty simple. So There's I'm gonna no... move. I'm gonna move all my guys, and then I'm gonna get my psychic phase. I don't have any psychers in okay. my army, so I skip that phase. All right. You do have a psyker, so when we get to your turn, we'll, we'll talk that'll about be relevant. Sure. Uh, then you have your shooting phase, where you shoot all your your stuff. After the shooting phase, you can charge. Um, to charge an opponent's model, it's two d six, just flat, not modified by anything else. If you don't roll enough inches to get to the opponent, you don't charge. You just stay. You, you just stay, stay still. Okay. But if you get in there, you'll then proceed to the fight phase, okay. which I think we'll go into detail once we get to sure, it. Sure, sure. Right. And we just play five turns. All right. And we're trying to kill each other. So that's uh, that's what we're just trying to do. And whoever whoever kills the most at the, the end of five rounds, that's where we're gonna call the winner? Is that is that how it usually is determined? Or? Usually we use objectives. Okay, um, we, oh, and you just try to get the objectives. And you're trying to camp on the objectives. Gotcha. Uh, in this case, we'll just like... Just be, try to... Just beat each other up a bit. Just beat each other up. Yeah. Did you want to try and seize the initiative, or do you want me to go no, first? No, no, you can go first. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to witness and... Okay. So, we start with the movement phase. So, my uh, intercessors, these are the primary space marines here, uh, move six inches. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll be in range to shoot your guys because my range is 12. Uh, oh, it's 30 now. Ha! <laughs> All right, this might be. They got better guns now. Wow. So they might. Uh, they might be able to take. I out. might actually but be able to. But that's okay. Let's, let's let's let's. You can pre-measure any time. Okay. In this game. Oh, no, that's good. So if I, I want to be I, really cheesy, I, I could say, "Oh, look at that." Yeah, so I think you can. I think you can. I'm gonna move six. Melee phase, your initiative would determine uh, who fights in what order, but they change it for the new edition where uh, the first person who fights in any melee phase is the are units that charged because you're charging, you're taking your opponent off guard, so you right. get to go first. And then once those are resolved, you go back and forth. There, that that is one part of the game where there's a you go I go situation okay. where after the charges are resolved, I get to pick a unit that's been in if they've been in melee for a couple turns, right? They'll fight, then you get to pick someone to fight, and you can kind of like sequence that okay. uh, to your advantage. So they'll move up. Uh, this dude here is going to move up. This is one of my lieutenants. Okay, what, how do we know that he's a lieutenant? Just because he's got a different pose? He's got a bigger uh, base, and oh, he's okay. also sure. usually um, a lot of space marines take their helmets off when they get ranked up for some reason because okay. they like to get shot in the head. So. <laughs> All right. That's oh, always yeah, been the, his, uh... the classic thing with uh, Space Marine. Like, like this is the sergeant for that squad. He took his helmet off. Okay. In, in real of... life army, you don't want no, you don't the snipers want... to shoot yeah. the, the officers. But in, in 40K, they, they totally the, want they it. They just don't so. care. Uh, move this squad of intercessors up six inches. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll move these guys. These guys are my Hell Blasters. They have plasma guns, which are pretty sweet. Nice. They also have 30 inch range. Is that or... a walking flag or something? Yeah, the Space Marine Ancient has a flag, and he allows my guys to get rerolls as long as he stays alive. Nice. Uh, Hell Blasters also have 30 inch range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Space Marine guns are, tend to be pretty advanced, so that's, they get uh, they get some good, good toys. Uh, my captain in Gravis armor is going to move up. He's a little slower because his armor's thick, so he's only moving five, but I'll put him right there. Right. And he has an ability where I can reroll all hit rolls of one within six inches of him, even in the shooting phase. So as long as wow. he's, six you keep inches. him near your guys, he kind of commands them and makes them better at shooting. So if I roll ones when I shoot, I can reroll re those. Nice, okay. And then we'll move the ancient up to there. Okay. Uh, the Space Marine Army is very much about like like there's a lot of synergies going on. You know your your your, your HQ units, your leaders, uh, can can give buffs to your your guys. There's an aura around them that makes them all better. So the ancient, if a model, if one of my models dies within six inches of him, mm -hmm. before they die, I can roll uh, a die, and if I get a I get a four plus, that model gets one last shot off before they die. Oh, nice. Okay. It's kind of a last stand sure. kind of thing. Now these guys here, I could. There's an option uh, called Deep Strike, uh, mm -hmm. where you keep them in reserve, and then they can teleport onto the battlefield somewhere. Okay. As long as they're nine inches away from an enemy, I chose not to do that in this mission because it's 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 an extra thing, but it's it's a it's a good tactical thing you can do. Okay. But I, I put them on the board just for this game to keep it simple. Very good. So these guys move ten, and they, since they since they have jump packs, they can just fly over terrain. They don't care about nice. terrain at all. Nice. So they're flyers. Okay, so that's the end of my movement phase. Okay. So now we go to my shooting phase. So I'm going to start with the Hell Blasters. Uh, now their guns have rapid fire, as do your uh, Plague Marines. These guys right here. All right. Rapid fire means that if the mo if the enemy models are within 12 inches, you can fire twice. Oh. Otherwise, you just fire one shot at their max range. Okay. So in this case, you know, with 30 inches, we're just going to fire one shot. So we're going to go ahead and shoot at your Plague Marines. As you can see, we're all in range. Okay. So I get one shot each. There's five guys. So I'm just going to roll them all at once. So they have a BS of three. So I'm looking for three plus. And that's some BS okay. right there. We all got it. <laughs> now, um, if you flip to your Plague Marine sheet, what is your toughness? Uh, my toughness is five. All right. So my strength is seven. So it's not double five, but it's better than five. So I'm rolling threes to wound. Okay. Okay. So I just need to see threes here. There's uh, there's four of them right there. I'm not trying to stomp you here. No, <laughs> no, that's fine. It's yeah, I see how right. it is. So it's it's four wounds. Now they have an AP of minus four. Now since your save is three, minus four would be seven. But we're rolling six-sided dice. Okay. What that means is I have to roll a six. You can't roll anything. I can't roll anything. They shoot. So. It goes right through your armor. Oh wow. <laughs> and each one does one damage. Okay. So so what? Do how these many guys wounds? Have for, these guys uh, have one wound each. Yes. So okay. I'm I'm taking four of my units out. Now you have a chance because they have, um, what is that rule called? It's like gross and disgusting or something. Uh, see. Disgustingly Disgust resilient. Ridiculous. Disgusting re yeah. So So roll four dice, and if you get right. a five or six, you save those guys. Uh, All right. I've got one. So one of them saves. So, you, so three of them so, die. So you've, three of them are gone. Yep. Like they didn't even get a chance to even do anything, Tony. Correct. So well, Off to a great start. I'm not trying to... Uh, no, you. <laughs> I see how this is going. <laughs> These, these are the starter set dice, so I can't I can't take credit for it. All right, the intercessors here. Uh, we have uh, five guys with bolters, so they can shoot 30 inches. I'm going to shoot your uh, zombies here. Nice. So we are well within 30 inches. So five shots. We need threes. All right, so I missed with two. Three of them. Okay. Uh, strength is four. Your toughness, I believe, is three. Toughness is three. All right, so I'm wounding on threes. So and you got two of them. That's a fail. So two of them. Now AP on those is minus one. You have a saving throw of six, right? Uh, or is it seven? Se is it yeah. seven <laughs> they have plus? extra. They have extra bad saves. So th that just represents the fact they don't have any armor. Okay. Um, but you do your disgustingly resilient ability. So okay. roll two dice on fives or sixes. You save them. Uh, I've right. got one. So, so only, only one, one dies. Only one of them dies. Not too shabby. So I'm going to take this one out right there. All right, we'll go with uh, these guys here are going to fire. Okay. And this is something Marines are very good at. They're very good at putting out firepower. So this this is... So I shouldn't really feel bad because this, 
Nah, you just want to run those guys up into me. And yeah. Just tie me up in combat, and that's where you'll start to swing ahead. Okay. So these guys are going to shoot the same unit. I need threes, so I fail those. So you got three. And then strength four versus toughness three, I need threes to wound. And so you got one two. One fail, got two. So I get to roll two? Yep, for your disgustingly resilient. And I got one. There you go, so only one dies. So, so you're doing pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, these guys here have a range of 18 inches on their assault bolters. I'm gonna see if your other unit is within range. Uh, Looks like they are. Yeah, I'm gonna say they, they are. Okay, so each of those guns has assault three. So I get lots of shots. Wow. All right, so once again, it's Pretty ballistic much skill three. Take out that whole army with a good hole. Wow. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, strength on these is five, so you're still toughness three, so it's still just threes to wound. Three, threes to wound. Whoa. All right, not too uh, good. Four. All right, so we got four through. So once again, you get to roll your resilience. Uh, I've got oh, two. Yeah. Wow. Great. All right, so two guys die. Two die. Okay. So you, you did fairly well there. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm not going to charge because there's no way I could roll that Enough many on 2d6. So we go to the morale phase, which is the last phase of the turn. So any okay. any unit that lost any guys okay. has to roll a d6 and add the number of deaths to the roll. Okay. And if it's over their leadership, then the unit falls back. Okay. So the Plague Marines, uh, you want to do those first? Sure. So roll a d6, so add roll a three. D6 and that's so six. six they're, they should be leadership, probably eight, uh, and eight for the leader. So they're eight totally the fine. They're okay. not. They're okay. not scared. And the poxwalkers uh, are fearless. They never fall back. So now it goes over to your turn. Okay. Uh, and your movement phase. Okay. So we're gonna move these guys up, I guess. So what is it? Our movement is five inches. Yep. Now he did, he has a star right here. What does that mean? So uh, vehicles. He's a vehicle. Oh. You see that chart underneath that says damage? As he takes damage. His okay. abilities get worse. Vehicles uh, and monstrous okay. creatures degrade as they take more damage. Sure. So they start out quite powerful, but then they start to like get weaker as but they go. But then once he gets once he gets more hit points on him, he yep. So that number uh, with flying units, um, so you just have a ten inch move. You can so, go wherever you want. So I can move him up to ten inches, which is pretty much. Just pretty cool. Cool. Box lockers. Those unit, are four inch. How can now with those guys? They have no shooting. So you should advance them. Yeah. <laughs> when no. you advance them, you just roll a d6 and add it to their total. So that's move. what you were saying. Oh, you so you have to roll a d6. Yeah, roll a d6. All right. Yeah, those guys, you just want to get get up on me as fast as possible. Well, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is, this is how I how I roll. So, you, you, so I, I've got five five move five inches. Yeah, we can edit the dice rolls to make yeah, Doug look. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll yeah, make yeah, Doug yeah. look We're, really awesome. Wow, I got a six. That's oh, amazing. I blew Tony off the board on turn one. Wow. Yeah. How'd that happen? So since I rolled for this, this is the same unit. This is the same unit. Those are two separate units. Two, two separate units. So I can roll another. Hopefully not get a one. Hopefully better. What's called power level that they There you go. Okay, so I've got what nine inches. Nine inches. That's better. That is a little better. He's called the Noxious Blightbringer. Okay. And he has a five okay. limit. And then you have to pay for like. The yeah, it looks like the only pistol he has is a twelve inch. So you might want to advance him so, so you can get further up the board. Advance, right. Usually set up. And then this I mean, is the new guy on page one. one if I yeah, he is the malignant yeah. plate cast. <laughs> no, and then he's got a for a tournament, you would definitely. He's got a movement of five as well. You spend some time sitting down, figuring out what you want to do. How much is this guy's got a point? Yeah. Range of four or movement of four? I see. That's how you deal with it. He's entirely melee. He has no shooting at all. So you you would want to advance him. Okay. Anything that doesn't have shooting, you might as well advance because the only disadvantage for moving extra with the advance is based on your shooting and your charging. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to be doing mills from more missions. So three. Give extra three. It'll be two thousand points. Make your two thousand. He's a monster once he gets into melee. Can you? Very good. Do you have to use your movement all in one direction? Can you? No. It goes anywhere. Okay. I didn't know. Zigzag. It's. There's, there's, well, 40k is very much a beer and pretzels game. Uh, this new edition is great. I really enjoy it, but it's not like super tight. You don't have to worry too much about like exact movements because once you get into melee, it's like everything within an inch hits. So that is your movement phase. That's my movement phase. So you have the malignant playcaster. So the way psychic powers work, 
is you always have something called smite, which is this power here. Okay. It's basically within 18 inches, you can just throw out mortal wounds. Okay. Now, mortal wounds are, are fairly rare. Most, most of the time they're tied to psychic weapons. Okay. Uh, what mortal wound means is the opponent gets no save whatsoever. Okay. So if he starts throwing mortal wounds on me, I just take them. All There's right. nothing I can do about it. Nice, I like that. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. good, very good. And all he has to do to spit that out is that to be within 18 is, uh, inches. So you have to be within 18 inches, so go ahead and you can pre-measure any time. Oh, actually I think I am. You're here, these guys, you can pretty much shoot whatever unit you want in my army, except the characters. Right. Characters have a rule where if they're not the closest unit to a shooting model, they can't okay. pick out the characters. Okay. So even though he's not in this unit, they kind of screen for him. Gotcha. Same with like that guy, I can't shoot that guy if these guys are in the way. Him. Same sure. with this. Okay. So I did. So I set that up right because I was thinking that that was the case. Yeah, so that's that that's okay. pretty much the the only exception is model uh, character models with ten wounds or more. So like the big Tyranids, right? Like the Hive Tyrant has ten. It's huge. It's like it's like twenty feet tall. Right. So they people can it's pick it out. Right, it's right. Easy you, to you, see. Can, you can target that way above yeah. everybody else. So uh, so I can try to I can target that guy right there. You totally can. Let's do it. And all you have to do with the psychic so to manifest the psychic power. Now he can manifest two powers a turn. Okay. Each power has to be different. Okay. So you can do smite once, and then if you flip the page over one, the, on the bottom there, there are some other powers uh, that Nurgle <laughs> casters can use. So you can pick one of those in addition to smite, and you can do both of them in one turn if you'd like. Smite. Your two okay. powers, basically, there's one that does damage, and there's one that's like a debuff. Okay. It makes it makes one of my units weaker, but I would definitely do the smite first. Okay, so let's do that first. Who do you want to shoot? I'm going to shoot that guy right there. Okay. So you're rolling uh, 2d6, and you just need a 5 or better. And I've All right, so now you roll D3. So a D6 divided by two, rounded up. Okay, so D3. So three mortal wounds. All right, so uh, wow. so this, this enemy unit takes three mortal wounds that I can't save. Now each of them have two wounds. Okay, so, so I have gone. to choose one of them to die. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one, he's dead. All right. And then the other one gets one wound. So he has one wound left, he has two wounds left. Okay. So you just nuked one of my models. Nice. Which. These guys all have two wounds, which makes them pretty tough to kill. Right. But yeah, like I said, that guy is super powerful. Nice. Um, now you have a second power you can use of um, your choice. Let's do the Gift of Contagion. Yep, so 2d6, you just need a 7 or higher. And I got 7. You got it. All right, so now you pick one of my guys within, was it 18? Uh, yep, 18 inches. Okay, so let's, one let's, of my units. Let's, let's go after those same guys. guys. Yeah, let's go after those guys. All right, yeah. then roll a d3 to see what happens to them. One. one. So it is minus one attack. Minus one attack. Okay. So if you manage to charge them with your zombies this turn, they're not going to hit back very hard because they, they only have two attacks to start. So that's the end of your Psyker phase. Okay. You, you did some damage. Your guy didn't blow his own head up, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, that's always a good thing. <laughs> and now you move to the shooting phase. All right. So this is the, the, the blow drone. Is that yep. what it is? All right. So he's got uh, some pretty good guns, right? Are they only nine uh, inches? Nine inches. Oh, they're flamers. That's not going to help me at all. Do you want to? Do we want to pretend that you advanced him this turn instead? Because I, I don't. Yeah, let's, I won't let's tell do that. Well, well, okay. Well, 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 I mean, I'll comment on your YouTube video. But yeah, I'm yeah, I know. Uh, so it's six. six so, so it's six inches. So. Oh. So he's still out of range, but he's a little closer for next turn. Right. Right. All right. And okay. the thing about him is he can advance and still shoot the flamers. Yes. Because they're assault weapons. Oh, assault, okay. Any nice. weapon that says assault, which is like your flamers, right? Uh, they can still fire after you've advanced. Any flame weapon, just you don't even roll to hit. It just oh, you just no. roll a d6 damage because he's shooting out plague flame to blast my guys with. Awesome. That means you're basically down to uh, the marines. <laughs> yep. So flip to their page. I believe they have bolters or plasma gun. So you didn't kill your plasma guy, did you? You want him on the board? All right. Still learning, folks. You're good. You're good. <laughs> you want to keep him on because he's he's okay. So I, I didn't realize that there were different. Uh, okay. Yeah, it, 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 that comes with familiarity with the models. Yeah. So I can use the plasma gun, which is 24 inches. Yep. So that's well within within the range. And you are allowed to uh, if a unit if if he wants to shoot this unit with his plasma gun and the other guys want to shoot this unit with their bolters, you're totally allowed to I split. I can do that. You're allowed to split fire like that. Have this guy with this plasma gun shoot that unit right there. Okay, so you should be ballistic skill three. Uh, ballistic skill three, three up. All right, so you're just rolling one die. One die. Three up. 
And so misses. Misses. And then your bolt guns. And then these guys, I'm gonna roll two. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna aim for these guys. Okay. Why not? And they're both hits. So they both hit. So your strength is four. Okay. Uh, their toughness four, so you're just rolling four ups because so it's a uh, two, even up. four up. I got one hit. All right, one wound comes in. Uh, what's your AP on the bolt gun? Uh, the AP on the bolt gun is zero. Okay, so I get my normal armor save, which is three plus. So that's what we found. All right, so and he's good. And it's a four. So yep. Okay. So he survives. Great. So those guys are all all yeah. done. These guys just have melee. Yeah. Yep. I can charge with these guys. You can attempt to charge. If you, you roll 2d6, and if it's a high enough number that these guys can get within one inch of these guys, we All right, will, we well, will have a Let's see how, how much that would be. That would be about seven. Can I roll seven or higher is pretty much what, what I'm going to take the gamble. It's worth a shot. There's no yeah. there's no downside. If you fail, they just so, stand still. I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to roll 2d6, and I'm going to charge. There you and go. There we go. I got All my right. seven. So, we move up to here. Yep, so he's in. Now you can move the other seven. Okay, but, you know, they're all making in, but there's, there's something called pile in. Let me do it in the fight thing. So, they, they will be able to fight. They will be able to fight. You really just need one guy to get there, and then yeah, they, they will. And I'm assuming no one else is within charge range. I don't think so. I think he's he'd have to really spike a roll. Yeah, he'd really that. have to roll, you know. You can try it if you want. Well, let's, let's do it. Because, you know, I hit the seven before, so. <laughs> oh, I saw that one six. I thought maybe. Does ten get him there? No, it doesn't. It's two. Oh, uh, it's pretty close. Actually, it looks like it might. It might. He just has to be within one inch of one of my models. What but, about over here? Is that going to get him there? Uh, might be too tight. Uh, you. Ah, uh, put him in there. Put him in there? I don't even care. All right. All right, he's this in. Is, this is it for demo purposes. For anyway. demo purposes. For learning purposes. We're having a good time. Absolutely. Okay, so now your charge phase is over. We go to fight phase. So the first thing you do is you choose one of your units to fight. Now, since two of your guys charged, yep. you get the first pick of which of those units will fight first. Okay. So let's, you pick either the Lord or the zombies. Let's pick the zombies. Okay, now here's the neat thing. It only took one guy to get there because the others can all move three inches towards my models. Okay. So you're going to pile in, and that will allow these guys to fight. When, when Right now they couldn't fight. They have to be within one inch of my guys or one inch of a guy that's within. So right now, just for yep. purposes, he's within one inch, <laughs> so he's fighting. <laughs> okay. These guys would be able to fight because they're, they're piling in with him. Yep. These guys are too far away. Okay. But... The nice thing is you can move them all three inches, so they're all going to be able to fight so, now. So they're all going to so just so we stick just them right in. Yeah. All right, how many attacks do they get? Two, it says. Okay, so uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys, so you're rolling 16 dice. So I'm rolling 16 dice. All right, so there's, there's eight right there. Yep. Right. We'll do that and twice. your weapon skill is WS. Five plus? Five plus. So you just need five so stabs. Fives or better. Well, there's two. Three. three. Okay. There's three. Three so far. And then we're going to roll another eight. Another eight right here. Wow. There and go. we've got uh, a seven all, the, all together. All right. Now on their weapon strength is user user so what's their strength three uh strength is three yes okay so my toughness is five on these guys so it's not double so you just need five five plus to wound okay so i take these and i and whatever i roll yep you're looking for five, five and plus it's gonna be hits and we've got four it looks like nice uh your ap on your weapon is zero correct right all right, so I get my normal save, which is three plus. So I'm just gonna roll three dice <laughs> and hope for threes. Wow, you got two. All right, now in previous editions, I could be cheesy and put one wound on this guy and keep this guy alive. Okay. Can't do that anymore. All right. If somebody's wounded, they die first. So he's down. All right. All right. Oops. Back up. He was kind of on that hill. So. So that means I'm down to one guy, but I don't even get to go yet because you, he charged too. Right. So now he gets to go. He gets to go. It's going to be uh, a four, four attacks. Four. Yep. So his weapon skill is two plus. His weapon skill. Yeah, he's a beast. He's okay. probably going to kill these guys pretty easily. There you go. Three hits. So three hits right there. Now, what's the strength on his uh, plague reaper there? Strength is two plus. All right, so his base strength is four, so you add two to that, so strength six versus toughness five, you need threes to wound. All right. 
And the two of them. There you go. What's the AP on that monster? The AP is... Minus three? Minus three. Okay, so you got two wounds through. I have to get sixes to save them. Okay. You'll roll it. No. Nope. Oh. And what's the damage, the D on his uh, the axe? The damage there? on that is three. This guy takes six wounds, so he is He's super dead. definitely gone. He is He's dead, dead, pounded dead. into the ground. <laughs> if he had survived, I would have hit back, but that didn't happen, so they're dead. Now you get to consolidate, which means you can move those guys three inches in any direction as long as they end up closer to an enemy model, okay. but, not, but not within one inch of an enemy model. Okay, so I can move them all like right... They can stand right in front of me and... Okay. All right. So that's the end of your phase. Uh, we go to morale. I don't have any units alive that took wounds this turn, so right. I don't have to roll anything. Okay. You didn't take any wounds, so we just move on to my turn. Okay. So this is the top of turn two. So we start with my movement phase. Um, now with you guys right in my face, it's a problem for me. That's but, uh, what I was thinking. I'm gonna uh, hope I, I I'm gonna hoping. hope I can just shoot shoot you guys and uh, do some damage here. I'm gonna move my captain over to meet your captain in battle. <laughs> I think these guys want to move up to intercept. And I think we're going to need him over here. Give me those rerolls for when you kill my stuff. So we'll, no psyker phase for me. We go to my shooting phase. Uh, these guys are going to fire their bolt rifles into these. Uh, since you're within 12, I get rapid fire. So I get two shots apiece. Awesome. So I get 10 shots. Oh, want some dice. So they're hitting on three plus. Look at all that. That's, That's nasty. Not super good. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and then I am uh, strength four versus toughness three on the fox walker, so I need three plus. <laughs> uh, wow. That hits on all. All right. Of them. So you have all these armor saves to make. Uh, they go through the armor, but you get your resilient roll. So okay. five or five six. Five or six. And none. Ouch. Wow. So that, that was seven guys seven, go down. So seven of these guys go down. So. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These guys are going to try and wheel down your other zombies. Okay. Uh, see if we're within 12. Looks, Looks like, like it. These guys are. Looks like you guys are good. Yep. So again, uh, 10 shots. Awesome. Eight threes. We got one, two, three, four. We got five there, six? Six. Six hits. All right, right. three plus the wound. And well, not so good. Yeah, so you got four, four. So four you get wounds. four so of your get resilient rolls. Four of my resilient rolls. None of them. Wow. All right, so four zombies So down. yeah, so I think, uh, I think I'm just going to take this back roll right, wow. right out. Okay, my lieutenant yeah. here, he just has a bolt pistol. So he's just... Four. Yeah, that's kind of how it happens on my channel. There, he's going to shoot that thing with his bolt pistol. BS is three, so three plus. Nice. Hits. Okay. What's the toughness on that monster? Toughness, it is seven. All right, so bolt pistol strength four, so not quite double, but I'm rolling on a five to wound. So it doesn't wound. He, okay. does, he loves it. All right, these guys are going to shoot their plasma into your, uh, your big boss there. This, this guy right here? Yeah, because I think this is about Nasty the only dude. way I can kill him. Okay. Because once he gets into combat, he's going to kill all my stuff. Hell Blasters. So we have 10 shots. They're hitting on threes. Oh, wow. The ones I can reroll because of the captain there. Okay. okay. A little better. These are out. These hit. So strength seven. What's the toughness on that big boy? Toughness is five. All right, so I'm rolling threes to wound. One, two, three, huh. four. So we got four through. Uh, their AP is minus four. Oh, a save is a two plus. All right, so you need sixes to save him. Great. Although he has six wounds, so this won't kill him. I just heard of it. Okay, so we, we did one, one six, so that's only right. three. So he takes three wounds. But so he, we just do like a three just, next to Yeah, one? put a number next to him. You're disgustingly resilient. Oh, okay. So roll those and see if you get a five and six. Right. Nope. Uh, let's see, the Ancient has a bolt rifle. He'll go ahead and shoot. Uh, two shots into your lord. Looking for threes. It does. Uh, four versus five means I need fives to wound. 
So Let's one wound, one. Uh, no AP, so he gets his normal two plus save. And it's a one. How did, okay, resilient? Four. So, Doug, you're killing me. So, so he takes another he wound. He takes another wound. So that's four on that guy. Wow. You said he was a, he was a monster. He is a monster, but apparently I am too. <laughs> we'll go ahead and shoot him with that guy. All right. Two hits. Need uh, fives to wound. You got one, one wound. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. Uh, normal save, two plus. That's a, well, it's cocked. That's cocked, let's re-roll it. Yeah, let's. Okay, right. there we go. He's good. Woo! Okay. And then my captain has the Bolt Storm Gauntlet. So three shots of this pistol gauntlet. He loves it, and I need five to wound. Ugh. I'm not trying to roll these. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's how it goes. Normal saves, two plus. So two plus. He's yep. good. He's good. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking. All right. <laughs> Woo. We'll go to the charge phase. I definitely want him to charge your lord because it's cool. Yep. Absolutely. Of our warriors meet in battle. So he's in eight inches. He's in there. I think these guys are gonna just smite that pox walker. So they're in, four inches. Okay. We'll send the lieutenant in too. He's, he feels like he wants to yeah, he's got six, there's six follow there. his uh, boss into battle there. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna hang the other guys back because they're better at shooting for now. So we'll see how All this right. goes. All, All right. right. So because I charged. I'm gonna say this is not gonna go well. <laughs> I'll go with the captain first, swing on your lord. Fair assessment. Yeah. I mean, I've never played this before, but uh, I think that's just... You don't have to have played this before yeah. to know what position you're in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you still got those guys. Yeah, no, I still have... I'm just trying to look at the bright side here. No, I, I appreciate that. All right, Captain and Gravis Armor is rolling a 2 plus on your lord of contagion. Look at that. Uh, do you get rerolls on the ones? Because you got three ones there. It's friendly chapter units within six inches of this captain. He's within six inches of himself. So he's going to inspire himself to reroll. Better? That's. Wow. All right, that's uh, strength times two. So he is strength eight. So against your toughness of five, he's rolling threes to wound. Oh, but you only got one, one. on. One. Okay. All right. Um, so do I have any save and throw against uh, melee attacks, or? I can reroll the one because of this guy, so I'm gonna try that. Okay, okay so you got two through. Two through. So you get uh, your save. It's at minus three, so you're rolling five or six to save. Nope. Now you get your disgusting and resilient rolls. Nope. All right, he's down. So he's down two, and that that would take him out. That would kill him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> Now we go over here. Yeah, this guy's got a so lot of chance. Since he charged, he can hop into this battle. Okay, since he didn't get a chance to hop into Cause, that Because that one, because that guy died. Yeah. Okay. So, but we do these guys separate, because he's yeah. a separate unit. So we'll have these guys fight. So two, four. You need 10 dice? Eight. Uh, eight, and then the, the, the leader has a, a different weapon, so he's going to look slightly different. The sergeant has three attacks, so I'm rolling 11 dice. 11 dice, awesome. Okay. So three plus to hit. I think I'm probably gonna kill this guy. Uh, yeah, I think that that's probably a good good chance. Reroll the ones. Yeah. So one, two, all these. I think uh, you can survive this. I, I, <laughs> hey, you know that we might. Uh, Three to wound. Uh, Rerolls because of the lieutenant there. Lieutenant. Awesome. So that's uh, what. Uh, you only have to roll eight fives or sixes to save him. Know, that's pretty good. I think you can do it. The odds are against you. Well, you almost had it. I, I you know, not really. But. <laughs> oh. Bright side. I'm trying to try to be positive. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So then we do a consolidate move, and they're just going to roll it forward. How are you feeling, Doug? Um, I'm feeling a little uh, battered and beaten, and I'm not, I'm not liking these Space Marines. I was hoping they would be more like Stormtroopers and, and miss, their, uh, <laughs> miss their shots, but... They're uh, rolling very well they're today. They're very um, well. Definitely better than the first game I played. But that's, uh, that's yeah. dice for you. No, that's what happens when I turn the camera on. 
Your turn. All right. So Both I can pistols. move this guy up. Does yep. he have to be? And he can spray anybody in. Yeah, he can just he just hoses him down with fire during the shooting phase. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So you want to move him forward, maybe hope for a big roll when you when you charge him. So now we, we, I moved my guys. Yep. We get no. I don't have any psychic guys anymore. Yeah, you do. I have that guy. Oh, that guy's a psychic. That's guy. your sorcerer. So you can start smiting me if you want. Now I don't have line of sight since I have this in my way, right? Uh, that's only for shooting, actually. Psychic, you can just shoot me. It's just uh, you. You roll two d six, and then if manifested, oh, actually, smite is the closest visible enemy unit. Oh, so, so it would probably go on these guys. On those guys. Okay, let's do that. You're just looking for a five. Oh. I got, I got a six. All right, you're good. Three. All right. So, so then I roll a D three. So D six halved. Three, three, three mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds. See, so at least that's going for me. You smack this guy down, mm -hmm. and we'll put one on this guy here. All right. Yeah, psycho tests. You're getting. You just yeah, need like five yeah. of those guys. Yeah, be good. absolutely. And now you have a choice between the, um, the debuff, or you can try and put out oh, more damage. Right. The more the other one is pretty good because you pick a let's unit and then you roll dice for each guy in the unit. Okay. And you could end up doing mortal wounds. So let's let's do that with those guys. Uh, I bet these guys are out of range, aren't they? What was the other one? The, the, oh, you're the, thinking the, plague, the plague, plague wind. Is, yeah. Plague wind is what I'm recommending. Okay. Because you pick an enemy unit within 18, you need to roll a five up, and then you roll a die for each guy in the unit, and right. on a six they take a mortal wound. Okay. So if I so I can target this one. Let's target that one. Okay. And how many units are in there? Five. There's five guys. Five guys. This, this is a oh, yes. character, so it's just these five guys. So every six, they'll take a mortal wound. Yep. And two I got mortal two wounds. Two mortal wounds. All right. So those guys are just one hit. Oh, sorry. Charlie <laughs> they have two wounds each. Okay. So one guy dies. So we're done with the psychic okay. phase. We move on to shooting. Yeah, shooting phase. And no. the only thing that hit, oh no, these guys have shoot, shooting as well. Yep. Let's uh, let's let's hit with this guy. Blade drone is equipped with two plague spitters. So you're gonna roll two d six. Okay, two d six. Yep. <laughs> okay. You're shooting this unit. Yeah. I hiked him out before I came here. All right. So that's seven automatic hits. What's your strength? Since this is a vehicle, you're comparing it to the charge. Since he's not damaged, his strength is six. Okay. So toughness four. You need threes to wound. So roll seven dice. Yep. So I'm fine with it. And I need threes to hit. Uh, three's to wound. Three's These to wound. are going straight through. There's one, two, uh, six of them. Not bad. Uh, what's your AP? Uh, AP is minus one. <laughs> All right, so I'm rolling fours to save these. All right, oh, you got quite a few. So three. Is it one damage a piece? One damage a piece. All right, you're going to kill two guys because this guy's already wounded. And then he's got to go first, and then another guy will go down. Okay. So we lost two models there. Two models there. Actually, they're down three. So if they survive this turn, they'll be making a morale test. Ten. Okay. So now I can shoot with these guys, right? Because these are. Yep. And since they have rapid fire weapons, you can shoot twice because you're closer to me. Uh, roll the plasma separately because it has a higher strength value. Okay. <laughs> so those both hit. Strength seven versus toughness four. You need threes to wound. Those both hit. Nice. And the AP is minus four, right? Uh, three? Minus three. So I need sixes to save. The big boys. All right. So I got one save. Is it just one damage? Uh, yes. All right. So this will hurt this guy. Now go ahead and roll your bolt guns. You get. So I got four, right? Yep. Uh, we've got two. Need uh, you need three plus, so you, you all hit. They all hit. Yep. Okay. So now. And then four versus four is just four plus to wound. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> well, what happens. Does your leader man have anything? So he's equipped with a bolt pistol. Tony's If you want to shoot that too. All right, let's do it. So just a three plus. Need Zilla. Who needs troops? Troops models are lame. That's a four, so that hits. Tony. Yep. Four plus. So whatever it's called in there is ridiculous. No, misses. Uh, your Blackbringer doesn't have a ranged weapon. This guy here. Oh no, he does. What is it? Pistol. Plasma pistol. Plasma pistol. Yeah, might as well shoot him. Alright, so that's uh, one. <laughs> that's a six. Got him. So that hits. And then that's a three plus to the wound. Three plus to wound, that's a four. Okay, I need a six to save. Oh, nice. I feel so dirty. 
<laughs> Try not to. <laughs> the dice are making this demo very difficult. I want Doug to like this I'm, game. I'm, I'm never playing this game again, Tony. <laughs> so now I can I can charge, right? Yes, if you'd like to. Let's, so uh, do, first you pick a unit to charge. Uh, let's let's go with these little guys right here. Right. Hey, who are they charging? The Marines? Uh, we're gonna charge these guys right there. Yeah. Alright, so 2d6. Eight, Eight inches. Eight inches. That'll definitely get them. That's there. gonna get me there. Yeah, so go ahead and move them all in. Roll them in there. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. So roll two D6. It's a huge mistake. Have you seen what James is playing? It's five inches. <laughs> yeah, probably won't get him there. Then no, any, it's not any chaos there. Yeah, let's charge that guy. Let's just charge the No, go ahead. So three inches. Here's my uh, I'll get him within one inch. Alright, so let's yeah, do he's that. In. It does not work on my phone. I'll go ahead and pick these guys to go first. Alright. Alright, so these guys have an attack of two. Yep. So, so I'm they roll eight dice. Eight dice. Okay. And what are they hit on? Uh, they are hitting on fives. And I've got four, five of them. Okay. So strength is three. Strength is three. So yeah. you need fives to wound. So I've one wound. One. All right. So I get my normal three plus. He's good. All right. All right. Now you get the uh, uh, float drone. Float drone. All right, this has got an attack of three, because he hasn't had any yep. hits yet. Uh, weapon skill, four plus. Four plus. There's so one. One hit. Uh, his strength is six, so three plus to wound. Okay. It goes through. Uh, is there an AP value? His plague probe, minus two. All right, so my guy's rolling a five plus. And he hits. I mean, he saves it. So, yeah, it doesn't, uh... You have no one else in melee, so I get to pick it. a unit to go next. I'll have him fight the bloat drone. This dude here has a power sword. So he's going to swing four times. Okay. And hopefully I'll roll some ones so I won't feel bad. No, nope. nope. We're going to hit with not. all of them. We're going to hit with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Strength is only four. What's your toughness My on that toughness big boy? My toughness is seven. seven. Wow. All right, so I need fives to wound. And you hit. All right, we got one through. So the power sword is AP minus three. What's your saving throw? A uh, three plus. So you need a six to save. No. Okay. So only take only one does damage. one damage though. So and he's got what? Ten wounds. He's got ten. All right, so he's fine. So nothing happens there really. Uh, we'll have these guys fight next. The Primaris intercessors. I don't uh, see this going well. I'm sure it'll be fine. And they only have a degrading table if they've got ten or more wounds. So I yeah. got two of those. Do you get to reroll those ones? Nope, we're just out. Okay. All right. But like that's my, even my more. My tanks gross. all have like eleven uh, wounds, uh -huh. and I play space three, marines. So threes. Those both so hit. That's like two wounds, normal more or less saving the throw. So, so, so just five and six for your resilience. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Nice. Loving it. Well, so this this battle just continues yes, till the next I, I turn because like none of us did enough damage to so, yeah. make each other fall back. <laughs> right. uh, this oh, unit does need to roll morale though. Right. As I say, you guys, sense. those lost three units, right? Yep. So but, uh, they lost three guys. So I'm rolling because they had new marines coming out. I wanted to seven seven marines. Yeah. What's your leadership? I got me. It's it's uh. So you can use all of the. It's eight with the sergeant, so I'm good. All right. So they don't flee because they rolled a seven and they need an eight or under. Okay. Um, if you do fail morale, basically what happens is you just start taking models off the table. Like right. say I had rolled a six, okay. for example, add three to that is nine, which is one point over my leadership. One guy would just run away and die. All right, so back to my turn. Yes. So it's the top of three. So we're gonna go ahead and move the Gravis armor, Captain. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no psycho phase, we go to shooting. Okay. Um, now these guys are in combat, so they can't shoot. And I cannot shoot your units because they're within one inch of my guys. Okay. Basically, you can't shoot into melee. Right, 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 right. Um, but we'll have the plasma guys. They're going to light up your uh, Blightbringer. Okay. So, Hellblasters, so within 15. So, yeah, they're all going to get two shots off. <laughs> don't don't take his advice when he says that Gaunts are terrible. <laughs> yeah, Gaunts are actually really good. I just don't like them. <laughs> yeah. So we hit with all shots uh, except yeah. two. Yeah. What's his 
toughness. Uh, let's see here. What, what, the Blightbringer. The Blightbringer right there, his toughness is five. So I get threes to wound. Yeah, but they're just deadly. Oh, oh look that's, at not, that's not too bad. Oh, no. Well, you get to reroll those, right? I wasn't going to say it. Yeah, I think you do. <clears throat> but I do. So I'll reroll the ones. The two still miss. Yeah. So those well, are gone. Okay. You still got three hits. And now you get. OK. Only four hits. Only four hits. If you overcharge. Uh, what's your armor save? Yeah. My armor save is a th this is three. Just three. To my armor. Right. So they're AP minus four. So you don't get an armor save, but you do get your resilient. So I'm looking for fives or sixes. Fives and sixes. And I got one. All right. So he takes three. Three, three damage. So I think he, he has is, uh, four. He's alive, right? It's the W. Uh, the W is four. Yep. So right. he's taking he's three damage right there. So he's still kicking. Just barely. Just barely. Um, my captain is going to shoot your uh, Psyker <laughs> gauntlet at your uh, sorcerer. Okay. Two plus. He's good. And it's four, just a four plus. So what's your toughness on that, uh, your plague caster? Uh, toughness is five. All right, so you guys are tough. Yeah, they don't seem it. I roll really well, but they OK, only one gets through. Normal save, nothing fancy. So we're just going to roll that. It's a two. <laughs> so he's going to take a wound. All right, these guys are going to light him up with bolters. All right. One of those guys. He has four wounds. Yeah, I guess he's got four wounds. He just took one, so he's about to become Swiss cheese over here. Yes, based upon the rolls. And then I had two more dice I didn't roll yet. So these all hit. Uh, toughness yeah. five, strength four, so I need uh, fives to wound. So we roll ones. The boys. All right, so uh, three wounds three get wounds. through, he gets normal saves. Okay, let's uh, so we're gonna roll the threes, three dice, fives and sixes, uh, none of them are. What? So he's he's gone. Uh, did you fail all four? Yeah, all three yeah, saves. All three saves. He failed all three. If, if you can one. see that, Tony's eyes just rolled. To Play this. Marines. Marines are really good. <laughs> this is what happens when when you just, know, I just nuked when I rolled dice with, on my channel. Bolters. <laughs> you got three regular saves. He rolls one, two, two. I don't know. You know oh no, nope. he's resilient. Reroll. Okay, so fives and sixes. Fives and sixes. I just want, for the record, I've played this game since like 2003, and I've always hated Space Marines. So winning with Space Marines makes me feel so filthy, I can't even describe it's, it's it. It's okay, it's okay. I'm having a good time, Tony. I'm glad you're having a good time, that's what counts. I'm going to attempt to ca uh, charge him during the, char during the uh, charge phase with my cap'n. Ooh, might, might get there. Yeah, I think you're going to. Oh yeah. Yeah, mercifully. Yeah, might as well. No, we'll have him charge too. Why not? So the ancient charging a blight drone, six inches. He's in. Wonderful. And these guys are just gonna hang out and yeah, celebrate the, <laughs> all the shooting that they're doing. All right, so charges. We'll do the captain first. Okay. He gets five attacks. Yeah, he's only got one more life. Hit point left. On. Only one left. Yes. Yeah. I thought I, only did, I thought I did one to him. You did three to him. So, five attacks. Um, uh, now I'm minus one to hit because his gauntlet, it does lots of damage, but it's unwieldy. Okay. So I'm, I'm only rolling three plus. Instead only. Of, instead of two plus. Only. Yeah, because you know, that <laughs> that really was a disadvantage. Well, you know, it's four versus instead five. Of, yeah, so hey, it could have been five. Only, it could have been four five. out of those five hit instead of five out of five. <laughs> so his strength is eight. It wasn't that on uh, Time to five, so I'm rolling uh, threes. So we got three, three wounds through. Three wounds. Uh, your AP minus three on his saving throws. Okay, so I need. What's that? Sixes? Sixes, yeah. And then, now see if he's resilient. resilient. So I need fives or sixes this time. No. All right, he's dead. He's gone. That's 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 great. He charged in, so he'll attack your blood drone. Okay. Four attacks. He has just basic attacks. So three plus. Uh, two, three, three hits. Yep. Strength is four. Your toughness is seven, right? Uh, yes, because so he, he is still in that top tier. The toughness is seven. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I, I need five to wound. No wounds. No, no wounds. Hey, look at that. Look at that. 
All right, now it's my turn, so I can pick an ex uh, a unit that's already in melee from last turn to go first. So we'll do this guy. He's okay. got four attacks. And it's power sword. Oof. Uh, and he needs two pluses, so he's it's good on those. Four, four hit. Uh, five's to wound, though. Your guy is pretty tough. Got one. One gets through, so you get a normal. Uh, it'd be a six plus save. Nope. But and I have resilience. I don't, I don't think know I do. If he I don't think I do. It's a. He is. Yeah, five and six. All right, so he takes a wound. So take, that's fine. That's two. He's got, he, you know, he's got two he's, out of ten. Now you get to pick one of your units to fight. So I could, I could, I could choose this guy, right? Yep. You can, you can split your attacks, or you can put them all on one of these guys if you want. I'm, I'm gonna do it all on this guy. So attacks. Is three. Three attacks. Yep. Here's some dice here. Yeah, that's right. They roll oh, yeah, really well great. if you're playing Marines. So that's two, right? Or what do, what do I have to hit? <clears throat> you need a four plus, so, so they that's hit. two, yep. Okay. Uh, your strength is six versus my four, which is a three plus to wound. Okay, they both, they both wound. And AP is minus two? AP is minus two. Blake probe? Yep. All right, so I have fives. All right, so one, one save. One. The other one does not go through, or does not save. So he gets D three damage. Did you get two two hits or two wounds? Two wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. But did he get three hits? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you get to reroll to wound because it's a plague weapon. Oh, you do. Yeah, you reroll once. That's a four. Okay, so that's another wound. That's another so. Wound. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> one gets through, but it, it does D three damage. Okay, so, so D three. So one. one one damage, and he does have five wounds, so he gets hurt once. He's still kicking. It's like a scratch. Just a scratch. All right, these guys are going to hit your zombies for four attacks. Right. Uh, three hits. You need threes to wound. Two woes. Two you wounds. get your five or six save. Right. Hey, hey both. There you go. Awesome. All right, now your zombies are going to hit me back. All right, so... So they're rolling five still hit. And they've got four, I've got four of them. Uh, yep, so eight attacks. Oh, they have two right. attacks each. Right. Ooh, really? I guess five, fives to hit? Crappy. Somehow. They're numbers. They're, they're yeah. definitely a numbers thing. So, so only, a fi only fives to hit? Yep. There's one. Boy. Uh, five to wound. Kill me, Doug! And it doesn't even go through. Right. Wow. Uh, so that's the end of the fight phase. We go to morale phase. You're not very good at this. Nobody's game. rolling on morale, so bottom of three, you're up. Can move them over to here. If you can get in melee with these guys, yeah, that'd be great for you. That's kind of what I was thinking. Which guys? Yeah, yeah. The Hellblasters. The Hellblasters. Because if he, if he makes you walk away, then they can't shoot. Yep. So move those guys over there. Shooting phase. Let's uh, let's shoot some of these guys in here. Okay. So you got two bolters. That, that's four shots for bolters, and then two plasma shots. Okay, so I've got four. Let's do the bolters. Okay. So that's four, right? Yep, three plus. That's uh, two. And then four's to wound. One. Okay, so three plus on that. Oh, he's dead. Well, not dead, but he takes a wound. Okay. Okay, so then now the bolt, plasma, the plasma gun, two gun, shots. Two shots. Threes. Uh, and one. And threes to wound. No. So we move charge. on to melee. Okay, let's let's go with this guy first. Do you want to charge with these guys? Oh yeah. Oh, do I have to charge first? Yeah, charge, yeah, first. charge phase okay. happens before. Let's charge. Phase. Yeah, let's charge. <clears throat> so I roll one d six. Two d six. Two d six. Okay, nice. that's eight inches. So that that should bring me within. Oh, they'll get in. Yep. So I charge with those guys. Okay. So now, they will hit first. They will hit first. Right. We'll roll Which the champion is... separate because he's got a special sword. Oh, okay. Which one's the plague champion? He's that oh, one right okay. there? Yep. So, so he hits, he and hits. then his plague sword is... Or do I want to use his power fist? I would use the power fist. Okay, more do let's do the power fist. Yeah, and okay. you still hit with both of them. Yep. With the power fist. Okay. So strength eight versus my toughness of four means you, you wound on twos. Okay, so I'm going to... Both of those, and double. they're both twos. All right, um, what's the AP on a power fist? Minus three? Minus three. So I need sixes. This guy's already wounded. The fact that you can save a power fist is a little ridiculous. Yeah. OK, I didn't, though. <laughs> uh, so how much damage is it? D D3. All right, so roll two D3. Yeah, just roll two dice, oh, and yeah. we'll, we'll have each of them. 
So, so four, that's four damage. No. Yeah. Three, four, five. Five damage. So it's gonna kill this guy, and then kill two more guys. Nice. It, it can't do that. Oh right, because it's because it, uh, one model don't spill over. So this is one attack that does three damage. Okay. To a model. Two guys. Gotcha. Die. So we kill one and then two damage. To okay. One. Yep. So two of those guys. Okay. Not bad though. Yeah. Could have been a lot worse, as we've seen previously. <laughs> Um, now it's your turn, so you get to pick one of your models that's already in melee to go first, whether you want the Poxwalkers. Yeah, we'll have the Poxwalkers go, because right. they have, uh, what's that, eight attack? Is eight that attacks. Right? So there's, Looking uh, for fives. Six, eight. Looking for fives. We got two. Okay. Uh, fives to wound. Fives to wound. Uh, one. One. All right. So you need a three plus. He's and good. He's good. All right. Now one of my models goes. Uh, I'm gonna do those marines back on the poxwalkers. So okay. Just four attacks. Threes. Got two of them. Um. Captain is in range, so three. Three to wound. You got two wounds. Two wounds. So you get your five, six save. <laughs> uh, I've got one. So save. one dies. So one of them dies. Let's move this guy. All right, now you pick uh, your blight drone will go next. Attack is three. Yep. And he's going to hit on a four plus. Four plus. And I'm going to. I'm going to attack. Do I have to declare which one I'm attacking? Yeah, you can either split or you can put them all on one. Uh, I'm going to put it all on this guy. Okay. Hopefully get rid of them. Uh, that's cocked. That's, that's cocked, yeah. Okay, so I got two. Yep. And your strength is six, so uh, you're wounding on threes. Yep, they both they both hit. All right. Uh, AP is minus two, so I need fives to save. So one save, one doesn't, so roll a d3. So two? two. So he's still kicking, but he's he's hurt. Wow. So he's got four hit points. Wow. Yeah, uh, five actually. Five. Uh, lieutenants are pretty beefy. Great. Uh, we'll have him hit back. Four. All right. Will Will was splitting his. Uh, three hits. I took the marines. He took the Fives to wound. Two wounds. And your AP you're rolling sixes to save. I got two. All right. Two dice. You had two yep. hits. Nope. Uh, resilient. Uh, one. Right, so one wound. On the drone? On the drone, yep. So that goes two, from two, two, three. Ancient will go next. Like He's got four attacks. But like it's mostly important for like black. Whiff, 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 whiff. It's, it's true line of sight in this game. It's getting adapted. Like, like, uh, one yeah. wound, just normal save. You can't see three plus. Okay, you're good. Uh, then we just have these guys here, so consolidate, or, um, yep, uh, pile in. So they have two attacks each. Two attacks each. So we've got six attacks. Three plus. That's uh, That's five hits. Uh, your toughness is five, though, so I need fives to wound. Ooh. Uh, that's one hit. Yeah. One wound. You get a three plus save. Uh, saves. All right, you're good. Okay. So that's the end of the fight phase. Um, There's not really anything else. Nobody's falling back or anything, so nope. goes back to movement. Okay. So back to me. Uh, shooting. All your guys are engaged in melee, so I can't shoot them. So we'll just go straight to charging. Okay. He's gonna charge the blow drone. Yeah, He's in. Made it. They'll charge the plague marines. Yeah, they've got it. So it charges 26 inches. Okay. And rolls. He needs to get within one inch of the end. And he will as well. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Okay. Uh, we'll do the captain on your blight drone first. Okay. The enemy laws, you can't reach the enemy laws, Two plus. All hits. Uh, strength, we're using power sword, so strength is four, so fives to wound. 
Uh, one gets through, you're at minus three, so you're rolling six to uh, save. Do you get to re-roll any of those? Any of the ones? No. Oh, uh, yeah, because it's a lieutenant. Alright, nope. So one wound, uh, six plus. Yes. You're good. Alright, um, those guys charge as well, so they'll get an attack. Just two attacks each. It was just like, just like these to mine, sure. Uh, uh, so I'll have to roll two more. Or I'll have to roll the uh, sergeant separate. Yeah, okay, so there'll be three more dice after this. So three plus. Um, they're within six of the captain, so they roll the one. So one, two, so four, and I got the sergeant. We roll the one. Okay, so these get through. Strength four versus toughness five. I need fives to wound. So three wounds, you get your normal save of three plus. Those are all saves? It's my turn, so I will pick him to attack the bite drone. Okay. Oh, it's not by units. It's just still figuring out points. It's just like the guy's structure. Two plus. Four hits. You get zero command points, three points. Uh, yeah. need fives to wound, though. What's the what you have to take? Okay. Uh, we got, uh, got a couple there. So you're at uh, EP minus three, so sixes to save. Nope. Uh, resilient. Nope. Okay, he just takes two wounds. He's at five now. So now he's powered down a little bit. All right, now you get to pick uh, one of your units to attack. Uh, I'm going to pick. Let's let's pick this guy. His attack. It's two. Because he's got uh, five hit points left. Yep. <laughs> Who's he attacking? I'm going to attack him. Okay. Guy. Hopefully get him out of here. You, you can do it. That's what you so should. So it's four to three. So, so four hits. So you get one hit. One hit. And then I have to. It hits on a. Uh, your strength is now five. five. So you're still <laughs> wounding on a four. Uh, a three plus. Yeah, no, it's a two. Uh, the ancient will attack. Okay. Three plus. Uh, whiff. Two. Five plus. One wound. Normal save. That's a save. You're good. Uh, back to you. you pox walkers or your plague marines? Uh, yeah, let's do the pox walkers. Okay. So that's uh, six, right? Yep. Hits on a five and a six. No, five to six. Yep. <laughs> those are all misses. You only roll five. Oh yeah, only roll five. I know, I know what it's like. No. Boy. That was a okay. real miss. Um, I'll have those marines attack back. Okay. Um. I actually. the one. Two hits. Three to wound. Yeah. Got him. That's it. So. Five and six. Five and six. Looks like super old school. Nope. So two of them bite the dust. Uh, your plague marines are left. He has one attack each. Yeah. But the the champion gets two attacks, so and he's got a better weapon. So roll them separate. So we got two of those guys still in there. Oh, are they attacking the these guys? Yeah, let's, let's, let's attack. Okay. Because they're facing that way. So. Uh, so you three plus. Three plus. So I got one. What's the strength on his plague sword? Uh, User. Plague sword. So four plus. Four plus. Got him. Three plus. He's good. Now your other marines. Uh, you got three attacks there. So that's one hit, right? You got three plus. Okay. Two, so hits. two hits. Two hits. Good. Okay. And so force to wound. So that hit. There's two three. Only one. Only so one you did a damage. Yeah, two awesome. wounds each. All I have left is these three guys, right? That's, that's right. Yep. Uh, we roll the one. Actually, chaos versus. Yeah, I think you. I think I'm out. Are you? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So three hits. Just looking for fours. Two wounds. Normal save. No. But then I get my resilient. Resilient. 
So one. Okay, so you take one wound. How many wounds do they have? They have what? Uh, one. So you lose a guy. <laughs> keep him. He's your leader. Yeah. Yep. All right. So they have to make a morale test. So just roll a d6 plus one. They're totally fine. Uh, yeah, your turn. All right. So uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I can't do anything. Straight to melee, pretty much. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's attack with this guy. Okay. On there. So he's got two attacks. Good. So it's a five and a three. Hey, there you go. All right, three plus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. uh, they'll hit back. Oh. <laughs> Three hits, three to wound. Did you get to re-roll that one? What's that? You, you had a one there. Did you get to re-roll it? Oh, I keep forgetting that roll. <clears throat> He's trying to help you out here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Um, three wounds. So he's gone. Yep. Yeah. Pretty All right. So, uh, so you got a drone or yeah, your let's let's do the drone race. and we'll just try to we'll, we'll split it we'll split it between those two guys. Okay. Uh, just so that that can start doing damage and hopefully take that. So he's down to two attacks. Two attacks. So one on each. Yeah. So you want to hit this one first? Yeah. So oh, so I do one right there. You can start the game. All right. Yep. All right. So let's do the other one. It's a hits. six, so that hits, and it's gonna hit three to wound. Three to wound. It, it, it says got it's it. gonna wound. So now uh, so he's got a five plus save. Uh, like I'm Fails. D three damage. Two. Two. All right. So he's wounded, but he's not down. Okay. And let's do that guy. Let's do. No, we've got this guy still, right? Uh, yeah, you got two marines and uh, the champion there. Oh, I do have two marines. Okay, let's see. Let's shoot with the two. Let's attack with the two uh, marines. Okay. Uh, so the attack is two. I assume you're going on these guys again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just go on these guys. Both hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four, uh, four, so plus. four plus. They both hit. Both wound. So three plus to save. There we go. Saves. All right. Uh, champion. Champion has two attack as well. Those. Both hit. Both hit. Forced to wound. Forced to wound. One wound. Oh, oh he's, okay. dead. So yeah. he's dead. He's dead. Right. Right. Oh. I'm happy about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, two of us. Well, <laughs> uh, they'll hit back. So there's down to two of them. Basically, you just need one wound to take these guys out. Yeah. Five plus. One wound. One wound. You get a normal save though. Three. Uh, he's no. good. Yep. He's good. So these. Guys, ten of them. So I'll just roll this plus four. Uh, Reroll the ones. So nope. So that's four so far, and I get uh, four more attacks. Reroll the one, two. So six got through. Six went through. Uh, fives to wound. Only one. Uh, only one. So okay. So and then three I roll plus. three plus. He's loving it. Yep. Wow. Uh, this guy on the bloat drone. Sure. You roll one. Four hits. Uh, sixes, or sorry, fives. Whoa. Whoa. There's three. Pretty nasty. Ooh. Uh, okay. bloat drone has a three plus, so you're rolling sixes. Nope. That's three uh, hits. Resilient? Oh, yes, that's right. Ooh, resilient. Uh, so one. So two get through. Yep. So that's going to put me at seven. Ouch. Seven out of my ten, so there's Ouch. six. Oh, we'll just go back down to one. There you go. Okay, this guy might finish him off. Put him out of his misery. Mm -hmm. well, might, wow. <laughs> Fives. So there's two. two. Two, normal save. One more gets through. So uh, resilient. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, through. so that's uh, yeah, two hit points left. Two hit points left. <laughs> And the captain make it happen. You got five attacks, twos. Um, so those all hit. And we're doing strength four, so fives to wound. Two wounds get through. Uh, you're rolling sixes. And then my resilient. And resilient. 
Nope. Each one does two damage, so, so that'll, 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 that'll be the blow drum. Yep. Wow. Yep. Uh, I'm not liking my chance. I did take a damage here, so I will try a morale test. Uh, they're good. They have leadership of eight. Uh, so, back to you, Doug. Unless I forfeit. Should I forfeit? Should, it, should you forfeit? <laughs> I think I, maybe, I, maybe I need to forfeit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, well, well, we're good. We know we'll pretty I'm much get the basics down. So I'm here with Brandon and made this this whole terrain, huh? So, right from scratch. Pretty much from scratch. The only things that aren't from scratch, because these are not mine. Everything else, pretty much built from foam board, uh, cardstock. How awesome is this? A couple of molds that I cast certain things out of. Some of this stuff. Built these fences out of scratch. Twist yeah. wire to make barbed wire. That is just wicked. But everybody's begging you to come to the store and set this up. <laughs> so that's yeah, awesome. It's, it's a decent table. How long did it take you to uh, to make this? A long, long time. I bet. I bet it must have taken you like months, months on months. Yeah, on and off, you know. A month and a half, maybe. That's awesome. Um, this uh, river of sludge took a long time to just get down. Look at that. It's the same stuff they coat bar tops in. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, and even like. Yep. Dude, it feels awesome. That's great. It's great. Yep, it's a decent table. What, uh, do you, you, know, do you usually just have this set up in your house, or? No, nah, usually it's broken down. I, you know, I don't play many games at home, but no. when I come out, I like to bring bring this when I can. Sure, sure. Do you have your army with you? So you magnetize these. Pretty much used anything the kit offered. So you can just, because the kit comes with two versions. You build either one, right. or you spend a long time putting little magnets in the whole thing, and then you can build whichever kit you want to build. That is so awesome. Whatever, whatever kit you happen to want to do. I also did it with the, also did it with a flying hive tyrant, which this one was tough. Because I can also do swarm lord with this thing. Ah, okay. Well, I, I, I mean, I magnetized the entire kit on this one too. Yeah. So is there a captain in there? I don't have him based oh, up for Swarm Lord, but I can well, even the pull yeah, the torso know, off. Now I got a walking oh, high tire. Oh, yeah. That is so him Whatever. Whatever I want to put on him, I can put on him. Bone swords. Yeah, that's it. I'm shooting. It's just, just incredible. The paint job is, uh, look at the, the, the paint scheme on these are just so wicked, they look like hornets. Yep, that was, yeah, that's exactly what I was doing them off of, hornets. So, uh, these three will overwatch. Yep. Lots of bugs. That is, that is a phenomenal, yep. phenomenal job. We can just no, you can just edit this and post so that you're over here and I'm over there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll just we'll just flip flop. Yeah, it. absolutely.